say yes to God. Because for so long he has been trying to control our families and, and our finances and friends and different things like that. But it's not we forgot that God gave us all authority on earth and all and all power through him. And so I just want to remind you that it's time not to tell the enemy, okay, I'm gonna do this and stop listening to the lies that he says when he said, You're not you're not worth anything, you're not valuable to God. God doesn't want to use that. Somebody else is already doing that. God has called you to be a woman for a reason. So some of y'all need to stop acting like God has called you to be a man and play the role that the Lord has called you to do. Wait a minute. The Lord wants to do a lot through you and in you. And so I just want to let you know that, that, that you are so valuable to him, that you are his precious joy, his beloved, and his daughter, and his princess. And he wants to do a great work in you, a great work in you. Not for you, but so that he can take you and send you into this generation and, and take hold of the captives and set them free and, and wow. take those things that, that the enemy made for evil and turn them to good. God wants to use you to go out right into the streets, not just stay in this area and say, okay, well, I know that for myself. No, take what the Lord is telling you and tell other women that need to hear it. Other believers, children, adults, anybody, men, women. God wants to use you in a great and mighty way, whether it's singing, whether it's preaching, whether it's being a doctor, a musician. Go out there and stop sitting on what God has called you to do. You have a purpose and a plan. Some people have talents and gifts and just sitting on them. But he wants to use that for his glory because you're so, you're so worth it. And so I just want to end off and say, tell people who God is through who you are. Tell people who God is through who you are. And I ask again, who are you? But, but before I go, I would just like to um, have the privilege to pray for y'all. And so, I just want to go and start praying. God, thank you so much for the privilege and the honor it is to be in this place, God, surrounded by women that love you, God. Jesus, I just pray that you will open the eyes of every woman in this place, God, and help them to realize that they're valuable. And so we need to start acting like we are women of the Most High God. God, I just ask that you will stir up the gifts and talents inside of us, Lord God, so that we can go out and tell the people about you, Lord Jesus. Use us, God. Clean us. Purify our mind, God. I pray that you will help us to think of things that are excellent and worthy of praise, God. I ask that you will remove every little thing that is not of you, God, so that you can use us, God. Please, Jesus, have your way, God. Please, Lord Jesus, I'm begging you. I pray that when we go out, Lord God, that they will never see us. But you will hide us behind your cross, Lord God. And that when they will see, when they look at us, they will see you, Jesus. Lord God, I ask that you will continue to purify us daily. God, I ask that you will keep reminding us that we're called to be holy, not perfect, but set aside for your glory. God, I ask that you will continue to use us for your glory, Jesus. God, we love you, Lord God, and we adore you, Lord Jesus. And I just pray that we will realize that we're valuable in your eyes, God. And when you look at us, we're the apple in your eye, Lord Jesus. God, thank you so much for all that you're going to do for these wonderful women in this place. Thank you for all these people that you are going to call to teach, all these people that you told to preach and go therefore to all the nations and tell the people about the Lord and the good news that you saved and that they don't no longer have to stay in the sin that they're in, but they can be set free through the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you so much for all that you're doing. Thank you for the privilege that I had to be able to come up here, Lord God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for when I'm weak, your strength, your strength is made perfect, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much. I just ask these things and believe that it will come to pass. And I'm going to praise you and I'm going to thank you in advance because I know you're going to do it. It doesn't matter what our situations look like. It doesn't matter what's going around us, Lord God. Your promise. 
You, you never will go back on your word. What you promised, what you said, we're going to do. What you said there is to come is, is to come. But we have to light up and get right with you. God, thank you so much for what you're going to do. Your son's beautiful. In holy name I pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.